it's time. From the Personal Liberty Digest Studios, fueling up the gyrocopter now, it's time for this week's Great Eight. And now, meet your pilot, Ben Crystal. Say what you want about the Postal Service, they deliver. <laughs> well, I guess at least one guy who's ready for Hillary. Go <laughs> oh, get him, Hill Dog. I'll hang back and keep an eye on the kids. <laughs> Don't you worry about Hillary Clinton's financial backers. These are some of the finest people ever to brutally oppress Christians, Jews, and women. It's all there in the email. Uh, <laughs> Democrat Party Chair Debbie Wasserman Schultz defended Hillary this week, claiming the GOP has, quote, no new ideas, unquote. So we should vote for the old white lady who was alive before color television? <laughs> Harry Reid says the Republican presidential candidates are, quote, losers, unquote. Homeboy lost the Senate and a fight with a uh, <clears throat> rubber band in less than three months. I mean, dude's an expert on losing. <laughs> big town hall meeting in Charlotte and the big topic, equal pay. And here's a guy who pays women less to explain why you shouldn't. Ladies and gentlemen, President 87%. <laughs> Add Melissa Harris Perry to the list of MSNBC shriekers who are also tax dodgers. You know, between her and Sharpton, Democrat Channel owes about a hundred bucks per viewer. <laughs> By the way, you misspelled me. <laughs> One of them put out a dying old giraffe out of its misery and provided food for poor villagers. The other is an unrepentant cop killer. Guess which one's getting death threats from Democrats? <laughs> And in sports, Aaron Hernandez has cleared waivers and is expected to be debut with his new team soon. <laughs> and that's your grade eight for the week, kiddies, for the Personal Liberty Digest. I'm Ben Crystal saying, just because you have a bitchin' van doesn't mean you can park there, Hillary.